Hi guys. So today we're going to talk about inequalities. Now, what is an inequality? An inequality is when you have something like this. Let's say that I tell you that x must be greater than 3. An inequality is just showing that x can have more than one value. In this case, x has to be greater than 3. Well, for example, 4, 5, 6, until the infinitive. What about if I have x less than 3? Well, that tells me that x can be any value that is less than 3. For example, it could be uh, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, and so on. Then, let's say that they tell me x must be greater or equal than 3. That is all the numbers including 3. Anytime you have a line underneath the symbol, that is including the number. So in this case, it's going to be 3, maybe 3.5, 4, 5, and so on. When I have it the other way, it is the exact same thing. I'm going to have 3, 2, 1, and so on. So basically, this is a notation for inequalities. A good way to remember, because a lot of students tell me that they forget, is that when it's greater than, think about it, it's going to the right. Because look, it's like an arrow. When it's less than, it's going to the left. Every time you think in math, the right is positive and the left is negative. Also, look at this. Less than looks like an L. So, that's a really good way to remember. Let's go ahead and learn how to graph these inequalities. When you want to graph inequalities on the number line, these are the rules. When we have greater than, for example, greater than 3, or when we have x less than 3, here I'm not including the number. So, when we graph them, we're going to use a bubble or an open circle. Also, we're going to be using parentheses when we do the interval notation. Don't worry about it. We're going to do a couple of examples. For example, if I want to graph x greater than 3, I do the number line. I put the 0 here as a reference. I put my 3. Remember, greater than 3 means that I don't want to include the 3. So that goes from 3 to the infinitive. You can also see this graph with a Parentheses. So sometimes you can see this graph on the test just like this. Parentheses and then all the way to the right to the positive infinitive. How do I do anything less than 3? Well, remember, I'm going to put 0 as my reference, then I have 3. I put my open circle and then I go to the left. Now, what happens when I have x greater or equal than 3? or I have x less or equals than 3. It is the same graph. Look at this. Again, I'm putting 0 as a reference. But I'm going to go ahead and put a, um, like a close dot because that means I'm including the number. In this case, I'm doing the same, which is going to be to the left. Perfect. Moreover, any time that you're including then such, you know, like this one greater than or equal, you're going to be using this notation. E either you do the dot or you do a bracket. So this can also be drawn as this, x greater than 3, bracket to the right. And then this less than 3 is going to be equals to bracket to the left. So that is basically the trick how to graph inequalities on the number line. So let's recap. When you have greater than or less than, you just put an open circle or a parenthesis. But when you have then like greater than or equal or less than and equal, you're going to either use a dot or a bracket. Now let's go ahead and learn how to graph or actually how to write this into interval notation. So let's go ahead and now learn how to graph or actually how to write them into interval notation. So again, let's say that they tell me x greater than 3. Well, remember, when we graph it, we say that this was 3 and then open circle to the right. 
Well, remember, the positive infinitive is to the right and the negative infinitive is to the left. Let's make this more clear. Anytime you have the number line, you have the zero and then you have the positive infinitive and the negative infinitive. This is extremely important because look how easy it is to make this in interval notation. When I want three or x greater than three, I just do parenthesis, three comma infinitive, and I always use parenthesis for the infinitive, always. So this is how you do this example. Let's go ahead and do x less than three. Well, look at this. I'm gonna go ahead and remember how we say that three, and then we went to the left. Well, I always think that this is like a train. It's coming from the left and then it's stopping on three. So this means that you're gonna be going from negative infinitive to three open. Because remember, I'm not including the three. What about if I have x greater or equals than three? Well, look at this. It's gonna be the same as this, but it's three to infinitive. What about x less or equals than three? Exactly like this example, but it go, is going from negative infinitive to three, and then you put the bracket. Conclusion, infinitive can never have a bracket. It's always parentheses, and depending when you go, when you go to the right, it's gonna be the number to the infinitive, and when you go, you know, when it's less than, it's actually coming from the in negative infinity and it's stopping on three. At the beginning, this might be a little bit hard, but once you understand the logic, you should be an expert. So, it is time to quiz you. Let's see if you understood the material. Let's do it together. Now, they tell me to graph and also put this in interval notation. How do I do it? X is greater than negative three. Well, remember, do your number line, and then I put zero as a reference, negative three is right here, and basically you just do open circle and then all the way to the right. Remember, the positive infinitive is here, negative infinitive is to the left. So that means that I'm going from, you always start from left to right. So always think of from left to right. So from negative three to positive infinitive, open. Let's do the next one. X is less than two. Awesome, I'm gonna put two here. You don't have to put the zero. This is just to show you a reference. Then I put open and then I go to the left. And this guy is coming from negative infinitive, and then he stops at two. Now, x greater or equal than six. Well, I'm gonna put my six here, but in this case, I'm including it. So I'm gonna put a dot, and then I go to the right, all the way to the positive infinitive. So bracket six infinitive, and the final one, and I put negative numbers just to make it a little bit more challenging but it's the same thing as you can see. And then I go ahead and then I go, X is less than, that means that it's coming from negative infinitive and then it stops on negative five bracket. And that's it. I know you did a great job. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. You can always Skype with us and just please visit our website for our tutoring packages. Thank you so much, and also, thanks so much for learning!